be honest with you. Let's do this. Let's do this. I say, let's do it. You know, what are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? Class, we're here. We made it. We made it, class. It's kind of chilly. Class, we made it. We are here. We made it. We made it. Greetings, class. Greetings to you. Come on in. This is, you have made it. You have made it to the private money master class. You are here. You made it. Okay. So you can relax. I'm going to get this thing rocking and rolling. By the time we are done here, you will know exactly how to set up private loans with individuals to fund your real estate deals. Okay. That's my goal for you. It's my goal for you. So come on in y'all get set up. That's a million notifications when we go live. I messed that up. You are here because you're interested in learning how to raise private money. <clears throat> I got some announcements for you. Let me close this out. We'll get rocking and rolling to it. You're here because you want to learn how to raise private money, right? So, yes, it is an honor to talk to you about this stuff, Roundup, as I try to fulfill my mission. I am Chris Haskins. My mission and ministry is to raise your financial literacy through real estate investing and entrepreneurship. And doing that, I get to hang out with you and share with you my life, document the things that I have done that have brought me here, actually brought me through the first recession, uh, 2007, 8, 9. I remember running into people in 2010, 11, 12, 13, and they're like, Chris, you're still here? You're still doing this? I mean, yeah, we're still flipping houses. Why? Because there are two ways to do the real estate business. I'm going to tell you, there's the right way to do it and the wrong way. There's only two ways to do it. Now, today, I want to give you some of the right things that I've done, and I'm going to share some things that I've done that were not so right, right? So, but private money is going to be one of the most powerful tools that you can learn in this business. So, some uh, some announcements. Uh, we will be giving away, uh, in the video description, I'm giving away two free uh, uh, one-year subscriptions to PropStream. So, that link is in the video description. Let me put this here. You got to join our email list. Join our email list. If you want to be a part of that giveaway, a prop stream has given me two free one year subscriptions to give to my roundup family. I will not be doing it on my YouTube channel because they have so many stipulations. I don't want to get my channel terminated. So you will have to be a member of our email list to get the notifications. And that will be December 23rd. It's going to save you twelve hundred bucks. Uh, not that uh, not to say that you need to save that, but. You, uh, we already give you a discount if you come through Chris Property Data, but the prop stream giveaway, two free one-year subscriptions, make sure you have. If you're already on our email list, then I got you. You're there. Okay, don't worry about signing up again. Uh, what else we got here? The YouTube, and I'm going to be doing the YouTube and Internet Marketing Masterclass next Thursday. It's so funny, Roundup. I've been, uh, as I've been in consultations, I've been up since five. I didn't sleep last night. Uh, baby Preston kept me up two hours last night. I start consultations at six o'clock in the morning, walking people through different business transactions, especially with this internet marketing thing. So I think it's time for me to share with you how we're able to do, you know, just the, the numbers are staggering, the amount of money you can make on the internet. And I know today is not about, uh, uh, the internet, but I just want to at least by the end, before the end, before the year lets out, I want to share with you how we do. We make a tremendous amount of money online and, I, and I'm going to pull the curtain back to show you everything, how we do it. So if you subscribe to the channel, you'll get a notification for that. And you know, I'm going to have some goodies and a discount for people that join up quickly. Uh, internet is just, it's, it's blowing up y'all as people stay at home. And once again, I've been in consultation since six this morning teaching and coaching people how to run their internet business. So it's just an honor for me to share with you on that. So listen, uh, Roundup, uh, as I fulfill my, fulfill my mission teaching this class, there are two people I'm thinking about here. It's you and there's me. There's me and there's you. Two people, guys. That's all. You're sitting in front of your computer right now. You're either, you could be uh, looking at your TV or you're on your phone. 
There's nobody else that matters in the world except me right now and you. I need you to give me your undivided attention because I want to change the trajectory of your financial life. Let me share with you some of the some of the uh, scary things that I was looking at earlier today before I got on here, just to kind of bring you around the current climate of what's going on. Uh, they were talking about the people's incomes as they approach retirement. So I was wanted to read for you here. Uh, the couple couple income couples income at retirement total median income total is fifty two thousand versus twenty three thousand for unmarried men and nineteen thousand for unmarried women. This scares me. Roundup. I hope, hope y'all can see. Are y'all seeing this? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then unmarried men and women more likely to rely solely on social security. And then if we get down here, it's even worse. White individuals, 23,000 versus black, 16,000 in retirement. Why do we do this roundup? These numbers really, really scare me. They are scaring me. And this is based on CNBC. They did a study and it's off of the, the, the census bureau from the census, right? Households with three incomes, social security, pension, and savings have the highest income of 37,000. That's crazy. That's crazy. Roundup, why do we do this? Why do we do this? I want you to not only survive the coming years. I realized that uh, if you were anything like me in my 30s, I was like, you know what? I could work my whole life and have nothing to show for it. And I don't want that to be you, right? I don't want that to be you. So today, the skill and the art form of learning private money, you got to take time. If you're going to be out here buying and flipping houses, you have to take time to learn how to raise money because the cost of the money, the cost of the money is one of the biggest expenses in my flips, right? Now, are you going to end up, end up spending seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve thousand $12,000 per flip? Or do you want to learn how to do it to three, four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000 a flip to, so you can save some of that money? Round up. You are here. So you can learn that skill to, to save your money on your flips, okay? So there's two people here, me and you. I forget about the hundreds of people that will be logging on now, uh, the thousands of views that it's going to get in the future. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about right now being able to pour into you. And I hope you receive that's the words that are coming out of my, of my, out of my mouth. And as my pastor says, the meditation of my heart, how we deliver it. Okay, so we're going to go over some stuff here. Make sure you use the coupon code MONEY, uh, the link to my private lending prospectus. We're going to go over the prospectus here. You got to have a prospectus when you are meeting with potential lenders, people that are going to be investing in your business, right? So the prospectus is almost 30 pages. We're going to go over that together here. And if you look at that link that's in the video description below, use the coupon code money. You also, there's a bump at the end there. If you want to get my deed of trust and my promissory note that has some proprietary language in it, how we are able to move these loans around. So what is private money? Oh, my disclaimer. I've got to make sure I got my little checklist here, right? I got to do that. I checked the mic camera. Disclaimer. I'm not an attorney not an accountant. I'm not getting giving you any legal or professional advice. This is for informational purposes only. So don't be coming to, to try to sue me on this on this stuff that you can't come after me for that informational purposes only. OK, and I am the spokesperson for the small bladder committee roundup. I'm going to do my best as I do intermittent fasting every day when I don't eat. The water flows through my body. So I'm going to do my best to give you a solid hour and then we'll maybe take a bathroom break, break uh, as we get to that, okay? So I am the spokesperson for the small bladder. I understand uh, the small bladders committee. I know how that works. Now, why are we worried about private lending? Private lending is going to be other people's money, right? Oh, man, private lending, my favorite. This is, this is, I have to say, this is my favorite topic. Other people's money. Why do we want to do that? <clears throat> if you're anything like me, back in the day when I started, I could get a loan from the bank, but they were they were only going to loan me 70 to 80 percent. So I'm like, hmm, at that time, twenty thousand dollar down payment was huge for me. And I don't know where you are in your financial life, but that was a big deal for me coming up with 20 percent to put down. So that's when I went on my quest, my journey, my research to find out how in the heck, Chris, if you can get approved for 80, 70 to 80 percent from the bank. What if you could come? How are you going to find this down payment money to bring? That's what led me to understanding private money, right? Other people's money, 
other people's money. What is it? The good thing about private money roundup? You don't have to have a credit report, no tax. You don't have to turn in tax returns, any bank statements. There's no appraisal, inspections, applications. And believe it or not, there's not even a monthly payment on some of this stuff, okay? So I know you might be saying, well, Chris, what do you mean there's no monthly payment? How do we do that? I'm going to get to that stuff, okay? We're going to cover that. Now, what's your attitude towards money? Like me at the beginning when I started out, I'm like, I don't want to borrow any money. I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to, I don't want to seem needy, right? Only needy people borrow money. I want to reassure you that that is not true. I want to reassure you that even I today, still to this day, where I could pay cash for all of our deals, we still deploy private money because I want to make sure one, the people around me are eating, right? And two, I want to be able to get a referral from those people when I do have a big deal I'm working on some developments right now that are going to require some major capital. Okay. So make sure you while we're getting ready, download your prospectus in the link in the video description. That link is there. Talking really does dry your mouth out. The number one reason I hear people don't get involved in real estate, the number one reason, and I did a survey. 57% of people not necessarily are scared about the house or that they have a bad deal. They're nervous about not having the money, not having the money. Let me show you. Let me see if I can find uh, that a survey that I did. Let's see if I can find that for you. That was really cool. We did that survey. I wanted to know, do you want to know more about houses or do you want to know more about uh, the financing for the houses? So let me show you with you this survey. Pull that up, see if I can find it real quick for you. There we go, let's see. Is it here? Yep, there it is, y'all. Look at this. Here's a survey I conducted, right? Look at this, y'all. This is at my on my channel, right? And thank you. Uh, I want to say once again, I want to thank you for supporting my channel. Look at this, y'all. We didn't hit 70,000 subscribers. I remember just three years ago, we were at 3,000 subs. So I did a survey. Please tell me your biggest problem. Look at this, y'all. Almost 60% of people are interested in financing, right? Okay. And others have a mental obstacle, so I need to put together some training on that too. But 60% roundup. So that's just go, that's to show you, I want to share with you that this financing thing is real. You know, if you had the financing, would you might might get into the real estate business if you're financing? Might you get into the business, right? So the number one reason I hear is that, do you need money to flip houses? Do you need money to flip houses? I would like to know. Do you think for me? I was like, man, do I need the money? I got a A lot of times I hear Chris, I'm going to wholesale. I'm going to go out of here and save up the money so I can get into this fix and flip business, which is cool. I'm not mad at that strategy. But here's the thing. How long is it going to say take you to save 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 100 thousand dollars in order for you to buy? And I don't know what market you're in in order for you to buy your next your house flip. Right. So. Uh, wouldn't it be easier? Wouldn't it be easier to go out there and borrow it? You do not have to have your own money. All you have to do is have access to money, right? You have to have access to this money. And that's what today's training is about. Wanting to share with you how to gain some access to the trillions of dollars that are that have been printed over the last few months, right? I mean, it is so much. So we have to change our mindset. I remember young when I was younger, I used to think that, oh man, I just don't, I'm nervous. I can't find the money to do the deal. When reality, there is more money in the marketplace than you could ever borrow. There's more of it everywhere right now. It's such an abundance of the capital out there. All we need to do is turn you into the right borrower to access it, okay? That's all we gotta do. We gotta turn you into the right borrower. Real estate, see the mindset, Real in real estate, Money is nothing but another item. Okay, so I want you to mentally go here with me, you and me, just you and me. It's two people here, right? Two people here. You and me, 
let's take a trip to Lowe's, right? We're walking down. We're just walking. We're walking. We're walking. Hey, Joe, how you doing, Joe? Hey, Bill. Hey, look, give me a call. I, I need I need to get that thing from you. We're walking. We're walking. We're walking in Lowe's. We're walking by the hammers. We're walking by the nails, the screws. We're walking by the hot water heaters, the heat pumps. We're walking by the siding. We're walking. We're walking by the plumbing items with the toilets, the vanities. Boom. All of a sudden, we see uh, a, a place on the shelves, nothing but boxes of money, boxes of money. Now, this is what was able to change the way I looked at private financing, private money. Money is nothing but another item in the market. It's nothing but another item at Lowe's or at the grocery store. We're walking, bam, we see a, uh, we see the, sh- we're looking at the shit, we're looking at the shelves and we see these boxes wrapped up with money, right? Now that money has a cost. That money just has a cost. Now, the good thing about it is you get to determine what that cost is on private money. Now, when you're dealing with institutions and hard money, you don't necessarily get to uh, get to choose what your interest rate is and make your own terms. Right. So they're just like a commodity. So that is the mindset that I want you to be in as you approach these prospective lenders. Right. That is the mindset that I need you to be in. When you talk to people that are going to invest with you, that's the mindset that you have to be in when you set up these loans, right? When you set up this stuff, it's nothing but nothing but another item that we're going to see at the store. That's all. That's all it is, y'all. Okay. So as we continue with our training, I'm going to go over the prospectus. Make sure you have downloaded it. In a few minutes, we're going to go over this. Also going to go over my deed of trust and my promissory note. You're going to get that proprietary uh, information on there. This is going well. You're going well. Get your questions in the chat box there. If you're watching this after today, you won't get the discount. But still, my prices are only a few tanks of gas. So I'm not. We don't overcharge people for this training. I feel like this stuff needs to be in the community for my people. Right. For my people. So let's go over some of the. Uh, some of the pros and cons of using private money. I've got my spreadsheet here on the board. Okay. So generally speaking, why do we use private money? I'm glad you asked. Let's go over that stuff. Okay. So when we're doing a flip, we have hard money or private money. And hard money could be like institutional money, like from some type of a bank or a lender. So you, generally speaking, over here is going to be con- conventional uh, institutional learning or bu- business lending. And here's private money over here. Okay. So the APR, APR, you got to understand APR. You have to understand APR. It's so crucial. Let me see if uh, Barron's has a book, a definition for APR. Annual percentage rate. Annual percentage rate, y'all. Here we go. Get your Barron's. If you don't have your Barron's book, just head over to chrishaskins.com. And my suggested reading, and we make like 50 cents when you buy one, nothing much. Okay, annual percentage rate, the effective rate of interest for a loan per year, disclosure of which is required by the truth and lending law. Well, we're, we're not doing it professionally. We're doing it with private individuals. So the annual percentage per year, okay? That, that means a lot. We're not giving away a piece of the deal we're not giving away equity. We're not doing partnerships with our investors. We're giving them a flat rate of return, APR, just like you pay APR on your credit card. Exact same thing, okay? So with hard money, generally speaking, the APR is going to be 12 to 14%, okay? That's what we have seen in the marketplace. That's without, that's That's what's out there now in the current climate. Private money generally is 6 to 8%. Six to eight percent. And remember, cost of money paramount when you're doing these flips. Paramount. My income went up when I learned how to do this business the right way. And the right way is private money, y'all. Okay. Points. All right. Now, whether you use a bank, a traditional lender, or a hard money lender, you're going to have some points. Origination. You might even have some buy down points, some back end points. They're going to be two to five points. Now, a point is 1% of the loan, right? 1% of that loan. So if you're borrowing $100,000 and you have two points at closing, you have to bring $2,000. 
that's on the low end, right? And private money, you have zero points. Your investors don't even care about points. They are excited about the return that you're giving them, okay? So private money, zero points. You're walking into the door. Fees. Oh, and Jesus, this is where thousands of dollars adds up. Hard money, processing fees, right? Generally speaking, you have to pay just to turn your application into hard money lenders. And let me remind you that if you're paying absorbent fees, $250, $500, $1,000 to some of these so, so-called private lenders that are on the web today, you're getting got. A lot of these, I'm sick of these um, fake lenders taking money, uh, application fees from my people and not giving them anything. They're saying they're, they, they've done it to me too. I get contacted every week. Your, Chris, your loan is approved. All we need is a $500 application fee to get rolling and get you funded. Don't do it, y'all. Don't do it. They're just trying to take your money, okay? Processing fees. Uh, let's just talk about appraisals, inspections, doc prep fees. Uh, they, I know one of the lenders that we deal with, they have, an, they have another attorney that oversees the closing. So these fees can just add up. You're talking thousands of dollars, right? Private money, none of that. None of that, okay? And we already talked about no tax returns, no bank statements, no credit score, all that. So this, that stuff is icing on the cake on top of the, the when we use private money, okay? Extension fees. More fees, right? Let's say you go over the allotted time that you agreed with 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 your lender on hard money side. They have an extension fee. So I've seen I had a friend of mine that had to pay another point just to get that loan. It was like one hundred eighty thousand dollars. So he had to pay eighteen hundred dollars just to keep using the money, right? Expensive money. Remember our thought process: financing for real estate is nothing but a cost. That's it. Nothing but a cost. And you have to find out you owe it to your deal and to your business people to find the cheapest money available because the dollar doesn't care where it came from. Right. Doesn't care. No fees over here. No appraisal, no inspection, none of that stuff. Your private lender, your private investor will wire the money right to closing or mail a uh, mail a certified check to the title company. All right. Now, one of the drawbacks to hard money is I'm sorry, the private money is second eyes. Now, if you are new. I don't want you out there messing up Ma and Pa's money. I'm going to tell you a story of people uh, years ago, people, they, they want to use family members' money, friends' money to go in and do the deal, right? But if you screw it up and you borrow more than what you can sell it for, then you're going you're gonna to have to take a haircut, take less than what you paid for the property and what you renovated it for. If you do that with Ma and Pa's money, not a good day, right? I had a friend of mine do that. Matter of fact, I came into, I lost 14000 on that one because I was coming in. Long story. We lost, I've lost money uh, investing with other investors like that. But with hard money, you've got a second eyes opinion, right? Second eyes opinion. What is the second eyes opinion with hard money or a traditional lender? What they will do is they have some a professional that will look over your numbers for you to make sure that you are getting into the deal with the right numbers, right? Because if you don't make money, then they can't make money. So the good thing about hard money is they're going to look at it and say, okay, Chris, uh, I think your numbers are a little tight. We think you might need to adjust your renovation costs. Or we think your renovation costs are too much, Chris. So I'm sorry, your renovation costs are too low. We think it's going to be 72000 as opposed to 60000 that's on your repair budget. Can we go back and take a look at that? So they're going to look. they're going to look over top of you to make sure you're doing everything right. Now, with private money roundup, this is why if you're new, I want to make sure you have some type of expert working with you to do this. Because if you walk into a deal and you borrow more than what you can sell it for after reno, uh, that's not that, that's not good. We don't we, we try to stay away from doing that. So you're on your own. There is no second eyes opinion or second eyes looking over this deal to make sure that Johnny, are you buying it at 70% minus repairs? Uh, are your construction, are you, are you putting in $6,000 for central heating and air, $5,000 for the roof, uh, the bathrooms are $8,000, I'm sorry, the kitchen's $8,000, you got two bathrooms, they're $4,000 a piece, appliances are $2,000, uh, we got flooring is going to be $5,000, we got siding, windows, roof, roundup. So you, there is no second eyes opinion. There is no second eyes opinion on private money. That's why. You have to know 100% what you're doing when you get into this private money thing, right? Which is why you're here, right? You're, which, is, which is why you're here. Thank you for joining us.
My mouth's drying out. One second. Get your questions in the box over there, y'all. <clears throat> and I'm going to come back to APR so you can understand that in a minute. APR, I love it. APR, annual percent percentage rate. The payment and terms, right? Payment and terms on hard money or conventional money, they are set. They are set, right? It's the bank's way or no way. That's how it works. Payment. Uh, generally speaking, it's monthly or they charge you for six months of man. I'm telling you, they're charging uh, hard money lenders will charge you for six months up front. You have to pay that interest right now to buy the house. Right. So you got month or you could have monthly payments. Right. The terms, generally speaking, it's six to nine months on a on a hard money deal. Generally. Right. <clears throat> and I know a lot of times we think that we can get these houses done in six months. I'm telling you guys. It doesn't work now. Lately, we've been getting them done in four months, but that's not the climate. You got weather. You got people getting sick. You got people dying. You got people traveling. You got the holidays. Um, you got things coming up, just human error. Cars, car broke down for the contractor. You don't know what could happen to extend that on, extend that six months into nine months into 12. So far to date, my longest one has been 14 months. Thank God it wasn't longer than that, but this, you can get caught up in these rentals thinking that everything is going to go smooth at six months. I remember one time I did a deal. Uh, we, we It sat on the market. for We finished it in four or five months, sat on the market for another six. So you have to think about it. When you put that house for sale on the MLS for, uh, for a flip, even if you get an offer the same day you list it, you're 45 days out because your buyer has to get uh, through the underwriting process for their loan. That's going to take 45 days, okay? So even if you were to get an offer the same day you list it, you're out almost two months, okay? So you got to build that in. You have to build that stuff in. So the terms, six to nine months, monthly payments, pay payment in terms, private lending, monthly payment, none. We do no payment loans. No payment loans. I know a lot of you might be thinking, well, Chris, what is a no payment loan? Well, round up, what we do is we like to have our interest accrue while we are holding on to the money. The interest will continually continue to compound. Well, not compound. It continues to serve, uh, accrue as we're holding it, right? So let's say we borrowed $100,000, right? The $100,000, that's going to be, eight, I think, eight thirty three dollars a month on interest, simple interest. So the first month, if we borrow the money for a month, we owe... $100,833. Okay. Month two, we'll owe $100,000 or $101,600 and some change, right? Sorry about that. $101,16, so on and so forth. We'll add $833 every month. We don't make monthly payments. Why do we do that? Because once you get four or five, six of these things going out and then you got monthly payments. The stuff can really add up, right? So we want to minimize our outgo while we maintain our income in managing these properties, right? So payment and terms round up, no monthly payment unless you're borrowing it, unless you want to set it up like that. And the terms regarding how we're going to, how long? Flexible. We set up our flip loans for a year, but we generally speaking can pay them off earlier. But what happens on this side round up? If you go over that nine months, what happens? Bam, you got extension fees, right? The lender's going to want their money. They want, they're going to want you to pay to extend that thing, right? What happens over here if you go over your 12 months? Boom, no fees. You call up your lender. You say, hey, Mr. Lender, you know, I thought we were going to get out of this thing. Uh, the weather is just, just 20 degrees out here and buyers aren't coming, the coronavirus. All type of things you could, that could happen to, uh, to cause you to hold that money a little longer than you originally uh, thought that you would, right? So private money, you're flexible. You call your lender, see what's going on. Hey, Mr. Lender, set it up. Let me see what's going on. It's crazy out here. You guys okay? Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. Preston sound like he dying out there, y'all. I don't know what happened. Well, I thought it was okay. Round up. Make sure you get, go to the video description to join our mailing list for our prop stream giveaway and download the prospectus. Use the coupon code uh, money uh, for the 25% off of my prospectus. And the last thing on private money, y'all, loan to value. 
loan to value. Now, what is that? Loan to value. Let's say you have a purchase price of $100,000. The hard money or the conventional lender, they are, are only going to lend you seventy dollars to $80,000 on that. That's it, right? That's it. That's all they're going to give you. It's up to you to bring the, the other 20 to 30% to get this deal done. With private money, you can borrow 100 percent plus, right? If you want to pay yourself, one, I'm not recommending to do this, but if you want to borrow a little bit more to start the project off, you can, but we borrow 100% plus to get these deals done, right? So my real estate roundup family, which one is better for you? 70 to 80% or borrowing all the purchase price and all of the rent on, right? So over here, hard money, they're going to protect, they're going to, they're going to make you bring have some skin in the game or your private lenders, they don't care. They don't care. Hard money guys are loaning you the money based on your uh, the asset. And now they almost want you to be able to pay it back if you can't sell it. Private lenders are loaning you the money based on them believing in your business. Okay. Now, who are these people? For me, it started out with family, friends, and then I got referrals. How do we approach these people, guys? And don't get mad at social media. I need you to uh, embrace. I, I'm a social media hater. I do not like social media. But you see me on it every day, right? I'm on it all the time. I'm on it all the time. Why? Because I firmly understand the power of media. And if you don't create your own blueprint, your own digital footprint, somebody will create it for you. Okay? So if I were to approach somebody to say what I usually do is, hey, you know, do you know anybody... Uh, that's looking to get seven to nine, seven, six to eight percent rate of return on some money on some some of our real estate deals. And I just shut up. We don't necessarily ask the person that's right in front of us. We ask if they know anybody. Do you know anybody that might be one that, that might have any investment capital that they want to get six to eight percent return on APR on some of my real estate deals? Or sometimes like if I am approaching family, I have said, you know, uh, Uncle Joe, I'm opening up my real estate business to private investors, to my family, uh, just to a few select people, to my family. Do you know anybody that might, any family members or friends that might want to get six to eight percent rate of return on some capital and some of my real estate deals? Just throw it out there. That way you don't get rejected when you ask, as opposed to saying, do you want to borrow, do you want to invest, invest in my real estate deals and get six to eight percent? They're either going to say yay or nay. You know, it can get real funky. It can get kind of no one likes rejection, right? So if you just say, do you know anybody? They can either do one of two things, vote themselves in or give you a referral or guess one of three things. Or they could say, I don't know nobody. I'm broke and I hang out with broke people. You got to run from them. Oh, Lord, goodness, run from them. Okay. So, yes, the, the line we use. Do you know anybody that's interested in getting six to eight percent or have or interested if it has some investment capital that is interested in getting six to eight percent on return on their on their money uh, in some of my real estate deals? So the power of social media is you don't show up alone. We show up with five and a half million views. We show up with real estate houses all around the area. You can click on a button and see house after house after house. Now, if you don't have that, you can always team up with a Chris Haskins in your area and just walk some of their properties, interview them about that stuff. So you'll have some type of digital footprint when people look you up, because I promise you, they will look you up. First thing people do with Chris Haskins, they want to see what's, what you got going on. And if you wait for somebody else to put something on the internet about you, then you're going to be cleaning up. You're playing cleanup, right? So it's up to us. It is our job, which is why I teach the YouTube and internet marketing masterclasses. It's up to us to create our digital footprint. I remember one time when I had a rental property, right? Uh, I didn't know that you couldn't just go into your house when you owned a property. Right? I thought you could just, just because you owned it, you could go in at any time. So they didn't pay the rent. Two, three months went by. I'm like, I need to get over there and show this house to some new uh, prospective tenants. So I showed up, had my key. They locked the screen door. So, man, I just climbed through the window. I'm like, these people are trying to play me. They're trying to play your boy. So I walked through the window. I, I planned on letting new people in and the tenant rolled up on me. I thought they were going to roll up blasting. Thank God they didn't. 
They rolled up on me because I was inside of their house. I owned it, but they had quiet enjoyment. They called the police on me. Police put me in the car. I'm like, guys, why am I? I'm, I'm the owner. Well, you can't necessarily go inside. I learned the hard way. What did she do? She went online. She blasted me. That was the first time I had my mother call me. Chris, you breaking in your own houses and messing with people. What you doing to people down there? So I'm saying that to say after she posted that, I had to go in and tell my side of the story as opposed to having 50 other videos of me helping my community, which would drown out that one. Right. So now I got that one starting out and I got to start posting to drown it out now. So uh, social media will help you uh, with your credibility, your believability, where people will see that you have some skill. And if you're not doing any houses right now, just hang out with somebody that is and interview them, see what they're doing. You know, don't uh, take a lot of their time. But you can get your phone, just ask about different construction that they're doing. You're walking through the house, talking about different things, flooring, siding, countertops, cabinets, electrical, stuff like that. So when people see you, they can relate you to real estate, okay? All right, so you got the numbers break down here. This is how it's broken down. Now, how do we set it all up? How do we set it all up? I told you how to approach these people. These people, they start with family members. And a lot of people, I need to cover the yeah, IRAs. A lot of people have IRAs that are getting a low rate of return. We convert those. I'm going to get into this a little uh, towards the end. We convert a traditional IRA to a self-directed Roth IRA. It's another way you can get access to capital. A lot of people have IRAs sitting around, not doing anything really. Okay, so let's do this. I wanted to explain to you what... APR was because I didn't understand what the hell APR was. So here's an example here. Then we're going to get into our prospectus. You got to have APR, annual percentage rate. How This is how we pay our lenders, right? So if we borrow $100,000 at 10%. So remember, APR is the amount of return that that money is going to make in one year. Okay. So 10% of $100,000 is $10,000. So that a hundred thousand will make it will earn uh, uh, ten thousand in that year. So if someone gives me ten a uh, hundred thousand dollars, if I return it to them in a year, I will have to give them a hundred and ten thousand dollars based on our example here. And I just did ten percent just to make it easy. You, you can change that to eight percent. It'll be eight thousand, whatever. So you can calculate that at eight hundred and thirty three dollars a month, right? So. Let's just say our flip takes seven months because it's not going to take the whole we, uh, we hope it won't take the whole year. Right. OK, so let's say our flip takes seven months. That's going to be eight hundred and thirty three dollars times seven. All right. And this is how we pay our lenders. <laughs> so they give us one hundred. We hold the money for seven months. When we go to closing right on the HUD, bam, they'll get a check for one hundred and five thousand eight hundred and thirty one dollars. And 5831 is going to be their interest, all right? So you got to get this APR stuff. I know a lot of us, including me, I was trying to do, uh, when I got started, I was trying to do partnerships. I was trying to do joint ventures. Maybe you could get 20% a, a of the profit, 30% uh, here. Maybe we split it. No, 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 no. I don't do that anymore. I don't do that anymore. Why? Because I'm providing an opportunity for my investors at a low risk proposition, low risk pop proposition. Even if the deals go bad, if you're investing with me, we will just write a check and get you paid off. You know, so it's not like the, the risk is so it's very, it's minuscule. It's minuscule. So that's how APR is broken. APR, you got to understand. And I used to think, why in the hell would somebody loan me money at an APR? Believe me, there's so much capital out there. They will be happy unless you're investing in like today. I think, what was it? Uh, Airbnb. Had their IPO. I cannot believe I didn't invest in it. Went from like $60 to 140 So Airbnb is doing well. Maybe we'll get back to that. Did anybody invest in Airbnb? I'd like to know. Tell me. Did you uh, do uh, uh, sign up when they did their IPO today? Okay, so let's go ahead and download your prospectus. Let's go over that now. So the next uh, over the next few minutes, I'll go over our prospectus, which is how we sat down. Come in. Go ahead and download your prospectus. Bubba. Hey, Bubba. Hey, What's going down? Roundup. I forgot we got another kidpreneur here. Kidpreneur in the building. What up, B? Hey. What you got? I got some basic. 
Some bracelets. Mm. All right, tell us what you got. So first I have. Bubba's a kid, entrepreneur. This is her Christmas stuff, y'all. If you don't mind, we put a link in the video description. You can support Bubba's bracelets, too. Mm. What I you got, B? I have um, sorority turn. Okay, sorority stuff. Okay, so this is some of the bracelets she's got, y'all. This is going to be Omega Sci-Fi and... And those and those are fifteen dollars. These are fifteen. Okay. Yeah. So you can get your fraternity or your sorority. On my on. Go ahead. And you can look at my store. And look for other. Other bracelets. Yes. Are they oh those bracelets are in the uh, link too. Yes. Okay. This is cool. I see you got another one on on your wrist there. Oh yeah, this one. Is that a, can they get that one? Yes, but not the charm because I don't have any more charm. The sword without the, the charm. Yeah, the sword. Oh, that's charms. nice. Yeah. Round up. You can kid. get the huh? princess charm. The princess charm. The princess charm. Yes. Sweet, sweet. Can get charm. What else you got? I'll hold it for you. You can set it down. What else you got, buddy? Is that it? And I got some. Oh, this is a few more. one. Can you pass me that one? Oh lord. <laughs> We're working, y'all. We're working. Harry. And I have a what you call it? Oh man, rainbow. A rainbow one. Look at that. And I got a um a arm. Um. Uh I forgot what they're called. The charm. Oh the zodiac. Zodiac. That's right. So yeah, this is Sagittarius. It's for you, me for my birthday. You can get any zodiac. Uh, any other zodiac is you can just put your link, go on the link, and then put your um, birthday. Birthday, yes. Okay, that's sweet. B. Bubber's bracelets in the building. I'll hold it for you. What's the last one you got there, B? I get back to class. Last ones are. Mmm. That is sweet. AKAs and. Yeah, AKAs. AKA and Delta. Nice. So you get your sorority or your fraternity. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Nice. Okay. Anything else you want to let say? Oh, let me see that little medallion there. This one? Oh, oh this thing is all caught up in here. What is? That sounds nice. Look at that. Isn't that cool, y'all? AKA. Sweet. All right. Anything else, B? Um, don't forget to um go hit the thumbs up on my Instagram, too. Your IG? Yes. All right. Get out of here. Money. Love you. Peace. Let's make get you some roundup. Thank you so much for supporting Lil Bubba. She's making bracelets, and I'm just so excited for her to be able to learn this entrepreneur thing with dad. It is so cool. You guys have been supporting her. It's just truly amazing to see a kid make money. All right, get your download your prospectus. Let's go over this. Get your questions in a box. I got a few more minutes, and then we're gonna get to questions. Um, we'll answer all your questions here. Uh, use the coupon code. Money will be good until the end of the day. That's it. After the day, I mean, it's only a few dollars, a few tanks of gas. Okay, so let's do this. Let's start off with our prospectus. So, is, wouldn't it? Was isn't it more powerful if you showed up to a meeting with this as opposed to just showing up? How you doing, Mr. Smith? And shaking hands and using words. Just like the creator of the universe used words to put them in a book, right? How powerful Christianity is with the Bible, right? And I'm not comparing them at all. I'm just saying you got to have some type of playbook, right, when you're doing this. So when you meet them, when you sit down with people, have something to show them. Have something to show them. Have a perspective or something. I don't know. It doesn't have to be mine, but have something. Let people know you took time to put this together. You took time to invest in yourself, right? You stepped up and said, you know what? I spent a few dollars. And it's not cheap. I mean, this thing maybe cost me 15 bucks, right? Yeah, I mean, it's not super expensive, but you're going to spend some money. Round up. Spend some time and money on yourself, on your craft. Because if you don't, nobody will. Okay? All right, let's do this. So, oh, let me share my screen. So, for, uh, what we're going to do right now, we're going to go over the prospectus together. You can download it. and as you're downloading it, you will have to change and put your information on it. Don't leave mine on it. You know, so I know people call it, Chris, your information's on here. Yeah, because I want you to know how to fill it out. Okay. So put your stuff on there. All right. 
page one. Let's do this. Your prospectus. You got to have it. You got to have it, y'all. What is private mortgage lending and WIFM? What's in it for me? What's in it for me? Always. Every proposition I do in business, I'm thinking about the other person. I'm, I want, I'm a giver by heart, right? My wife always says, Chris, you're just a people pleaser. You know what? You're right. At first, I was kind of embarrassed because I want people to like me. Da, da, da. It is a, I will say it's one of my flaws, loving flaws. But the more you get people to like you, they'll invest in your business. Then they'll trust you. And then they'll maybe spend some money with you, right? Just like we want our lenders to do. What's in it for me? How can I work? How can I serve you? So, Ms. Smith, what we do is we offer a safe alternative to the stock market, annuities, and mutual funds. Do you have any of that right now? So you have to be, when you're talking to these people, your posture is paramount. You're not coming begging. You're coming offering, just like we said here at the top. We offer. We offer. You don't have to do business with us. If you, if you, if you like what you see, we're just having a conversation, right? What are we doing here? We're just talking. If you like what you see, come on board. If you're not, you know, I'll shake hands and we'll still be cool. We'll, we're part ways as friends. It's no big deal. See, Ms. Smith, the bank CDs, the, the, they were paying 1%. They're like paying 0.5% now. And right now, today, we're going to go over our private investor program, our success record, and a company overview. So you're going to put your stuff in here, okay? This is how the program works. This roundup is the magic. This is the magic. This press, this prospectus. You better have one if you don't have mine. Go ahead and download it, Miss Smith. Let's talk about how your uh, how how. Let's talk about the most secure place to keep your money. Where is it? The bank, right? But do you know how the bank makes money? See, I didn't know this, Miss Smith. I'm talking to my investor. I didn't know how the banks made money until I did some research. Talked to a few bankers, right? Did you know that they take in huge amounts of sums, huge sums of money in from uh, on CDs, right? From people like you, you got the money. Or in your savings, the money market, which is another low interest rate account. They then pay you. I need to change this. This needs to be. Let's change. Oh, I can't change it. Y'all, uh, this is a PDF. We need to change this. This needs to be 0.5, or you could say maybe 1% to 2%. I don't know. They pay you 1% to 3% per year, but they then loan out the money at a higher interest rate to other people to buy houses like me. Let me scoot this up some for you, so you can see it. Y'all give me a thumbs up if you can see this. I'll make sure you can see it. What is the, the bank's favorite loan is real estate. We all know that. We all know that, right? The bank's favorite loan is real estate. So my proposal to you, Ms. Smith, is let's just cut out the middleman. <clears throat> Why can't you and me do business? So the bank pays you 1%, but they loan it to Chris at 7%. They're making money on your money, Miss Smith, right? And this is your presentation as you're going over it. So Miss Smith, we what we do is we buy and sell discounted real estate, single family houses only, anywhere from 50 to $250,000. Now is the high, we do $350,000 houses now. To buy these houses, we'd rather borrow the money directly from private individuals like you. We pay you six to eight percent to use your money, just like a bank CD, right? Now, how our system works, Miss Smith, we locate a property to purchase well below market value. We borrow the money from you to purchase and fix up the property, and we have a formal closing, and you get a mortgage on the property with other documents, insurance, and uh, the like. The availability of this cash allows us to buy at a huge discount. Let me see what's going on. Oops, did I lose y'all? All right, let's do this. Boom, back right there. Okay. Let me back it out a little bit. 
how our program works, Miss Smith, you are the private investor. You mail the funds, start over here. We're starting on the left side. You mail the funds to the title company. We never take funds directly, Miss Smith. I don't take anybody's money directly. You send it right to the title company. Now, I will tell you, Roundup, I do things a little bit differently if I'm leveraging one of my rental properties, right? Because they get the security right now as opposed to, to the house that we're buying. So I leverage my rental properties from time to time. In that case, they will mail us a check, right? The next step is you get three documents securing your investment. It's going to be a deed of trust, promissory note, and insurance. You are the bank. You see, Miss Smith, if the house burns down, then we all get a check. So you're secured based on any type of hazard insurance, okay? And the deed of trust and promissory note we're going to go over in a few minutes. All right, next up is we purchase the house. We do a complete remodel, new kitchen, baths, windows, roofing, siding, or we tear the house down and do a new construction. And you will receive 6 to 8% 6 to interest payments when the property sells, right? Interest, Simple interest only. We let your interest accrue while we hold on to the money. And then when we go to closing, you get a check, you get paid back, and the deal's over. Isn't that simple? It's that simple, guys. You get a you get a high rate of return. Our attorney cuts your check back to you at closing. You receive six to eight percent. And versus today's CD, this is an old one here, one and a half percent. That's that is so old. They don't have any of that anymore. Our pledge to you, we guarantee you six to eight percent simple interest as long as we hold the property. Your interest rate will not change. So uh, I'll just do a comparison with you. If you have $50,000 at 8%, that's $4,000 for the year. Or it will accrue while we're holding on to it. That's $333 a month. Or bank CD at 3% is only paying you $1,500 for the year. That's a difference of $2,500 for a year, Miss Smith. They're a big difference. So this is where we go into the different examples. So this is why you have your prospectus with you and you can use these. When you sit down, you don't have to, t I don't want you to lie, make up stuff. Don't tell your prospective lender that you have done that, that you have done this. You can always say, this is what we will do, right? Or this is just an example of what, of uh, the climate of how this works. So the purchase price from this one was 65, repairs were 25. Uh, we borrowed 50,000 on this. We paid this one 7%. So they got nine, tw uh, they got uh, $291 a month. Your learn your loan terms are twelve. Remember, we said we do one year loan, one year loans, but we generally pay pay it off in six months, All right? So you made seventeen hundred dollars on that, All right? Resale price was one twenty. This is just, just examples that you'll show, All right? These are these are literal houses that we've done. You can drive to them, All right? So this lady, uh, I think they loaned us. This was a loan from. Uh, Somebody's IRA we needed at that time, 15000 We paid them $100 a month. So I don't want to stay here too long, but you can look at the different examples there. Uh, how, did, uh, how are you secured? Uh, where well, there's always plenty of equity above your loan. We only borrow 70% loan to value, no more. So if you look at the green up here, the green is going to be our equity left for the repairs and our, and our profit. And up here is what the property is, is worth. So down here is where you're at, Miss Smith. You're insulated. All this stuff up here is where our, the repairs and profit is. So we build in our profit with the repairs, okay? What happens if Chris dies? Well, our business is structured to sell the property. We've got our broker, our LLC. We'll uh, go to the title company and your your interest will be paid based on the lien on the property, okay? Because people want to know what happens if Chris bites the dust. What happened? What would happen? What would happen to me? Round up if something happened. What would happen to your investment? It's serious. It's not like a Schwab or a large fidelity where it's nebulous. You know, if some there if somebody dies, they got a new person that can come in and take over that position. Mm -mm. Something happens to me. The property needs to be liquidated to pay off the investment. All right, so that's that's how this thing works. Hold tight, make sure I'm here. Can't hear. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I lost y'all for a minute. I'll add the stream. Here we go. Boom. All right. It's still back. Yeah, I'm sorry. My audio went out. My bad, y'all. My bad. My bad. My bad. Uh, let me share the screen. Almost done with that. This is more information. This is where you put in your information for your company. Why don't people work with us? 
before and after pictures. Roundup, you got to have some type of credibility. If you want somebody to give you $50,000 and you were Joe Schmo off the street, why well, I'm going to do that. Why would I do that? Well, Ms. Smith, we use the same system every time. We have a system. Same roof, same siding, same windows. You can see Roundup before and after. I always, well, I, I did before too. We had a, a, so many houses I had to stop using the same color. So what happened to me, I started using, I was using the same color for gears, right? This yellow siding. And then I started buying the whole block, right? House next to house, next to house. I'm like, damn, I can't put the same color on every house. So we had to start using different colors, right? Because I, I would have a whole street of the house with the same color, right? You can see here, right? Did we have mostly yellow though? So round up, you got different colors here. I mean, you have different before and after. So what you'll do here is you don't have to, you want to be truthful. Don't say that you have done this. You can always say this is what we will do, right? This is just an example of what we will do. Okay. Recap, bank CDs your name. So this is your perspectives, y'all. You got to have something in writing when you sit down with these people. I cannot tell you. You're sitting there. We're just talking. We're just having a conversation, Ms. Smith. Well, let me tell you a little bit, a little bit about our company. Uh, we started in 2006. It's Tidewater Enterprises and Construction. Uh, our broker is Ms. McCallum. Uh, we usually do one to two. You're talking to these people. You're. I'm telling you, when people see that you have taken time to invest in putting something together, they are more than happy to invest with you, right? And you're not just saying, well, you know, let's sit down, let's have a conversation. Uh, this is what we do, but -da. Mm -mm, I don't do that. I don't do that. And I, I don't recommend you to do that, okay? So we've been, go we've been going for an hour now. I've had you for an hour. My bladder is not too bad. I don't feel too full. I haven't eaten today. So we're going for an hour. Uh, I would... Sorry about that. I lost you for a minute. Yeah, I lost the sound. But we're back. So the next two things, very quickly, I'm going to go over the deed of trust and the promissory note. So you'll see very, very quickly that I got to get some Q&A. Uh, make sure you download the prospectus and sign up for our prop stream giveaway and support Bubba's bracelets, too. She's uh, doing her thing with that entrepreneur thing. OK, so this is our deed of trust. The deed of trust is what you give the investor. At closing, and I'll, oh, let me zoom in a little bit. Oops, view. Oh, there it is. One fifty. Uh, this is just fifty. Now, when you download this, you obviously take your my information. I'll put yours in. Borrow a name. This deed of trust made into into made and entered into this blank day between blank borrow a name. And we just have the trust as the borrower and the state lender name and trust secure here to is a note holder, $55,000. This is just basic. This is just basic boiler boilerplate stuff here. $55,000 plus interest and changes in accordance with the terms of that note. And the note will go over in a minute. Okay. But here's the magic right here. Y'all here's the magic. Here's the proprietary language that I put in all of my, my deed of trusts, right? Subject to note holders approval, grantor, that's going to be us, the borrower, grantor is the homeowner, may substitute the collateral for the note to any other, to another property under the following two conditions, right? Number one, the substitute property must have equity equal to or greater than the outstanding principal balance on the note at the time of substitution, Right. That all that means we're going to sell the house and move that note to another property, y'all. Right. So your lender is still secured. I'm telling you, one of the, one of the magic uh, things in real estate is you can move debt around. Right. You can transfer it around. It's almost like taking a chessboard, moving the board on top of the pieces. You're talking about life changing. Oh, my Lord. Private money, y'all, has been the best thing that, that has helped my career. You talk and you walk around with private money. You walk around with some big butt, with some big pants on, right? I can buy anything we want because I have access to this money. Number two, the cash flow on the substitute property must be equal to or greater than the committed the committed payment on the note at the time of substitution. That's if you have a a uh, long term hold that you're using the capital for. Let me tell you, Roundup, being able to move these notes around. Om oh, Jesus. So you got property A. You sell it, you take that $100,000, move it to property B, 
Keep on going. You talking about powerful, y'all. Powerful. When I learned that substitution of collateral thing, I don't want to get into it too deep now, but being able to substitute that collateral. Ooh, wow. Powerful. Okay. Last thing that we'll get to Q and a promissory note. This is what you're going to give. This does not, the deed of trust gets recorded, but the promissory note does not. Okay. Let me check something real quick. Mike. Speakers. To get it. Okay, good. Uh, promissory note. Borrower name. Uh, understand whose address is blank. Maker agrees promise to pay without set off, deduction, or counterclaim of any kind or nature to lender. Put your lender there who address, whose address is that. And you give this to your title company or your attorney. They can take it from there. Now, remember when we talked about no payment loans? One second. No payment loans? This note will be a balloon note with payment due in full on or before whatever date, October 2021, 12 months out. Borrower will pay interest at the annual rate of 8%. Interest will accrue only on amounts loaned. So we're not paying on the, the interest is not compounding, right? So it's not like 100,000 today, next month, 101. We're not paying interest on the on the interest. That will, that will murder you. So the note itself, Spells out the terms, there will be no monthly payments, right? One payment in full at the end of the term. You got to put that in there, y'all. Because remember, uh, terms on hard money, terms on hard money, set, terms on private money, flexible. Let's set up. Why do I have to make a payment? The interest is still accruing, right? Uh, one thing you got to do too, this note can be prepaid at any time in full with no prepayment penalty. A lot of hard money lenders, I'm telling you, they will require you to hold the money for like three months. If you want to pay it off early, they, they ain't going to do that. They ain't going to do that. And here we go again. Uh, su subject to note hold holder's approval, the substitute property must, I'm sorry, grantor may substitute the collateral, removing that note for the note to another property under the following condition. Substitute property must have equity equal to or greater than the outstanding principal balance on the note at the time of substitution. You're talking about beast mode, substituting the collateral. Oh, wow. Beast mode, y'all. Okay, listen, that has been my presentation. Now we're going to get to some Q&A. This is actually my favorite part. You don't have to listen to me talk all day yapping. Three things, Bubba's bracelets in the video description support kid entrepreneurs, right? Uh, get, make sure you're on our email list. If you get our emails already, then you're already on our email list for the two free one year subscriptions to prop stream and go ahead and download your perspectives. So when next to the next time you meet with somebody, you're prepared, you're prepared. I remember reading a book. There's two type of people two one that have done the research. They are prepared. They've got their presentation. They know the numbers. They know the climate. They're ready to go. Other person not prepared. Which one are you? Which one are you? It's simple. I wanted to share with you too. Look at this. Let me just share with you. Do we get the q and I was just researching about how to get approved for an investment loan. Look at this. In addition to filling out an application, you should prepare to submit certain documentation, bank statements, a copy of your driver's license, an L oh shoot, an LLC operating agreement a list of any other properties you own, documentation of other fix and flip projects you've completed, your personal tax returns, estimates from a licensed contractor for any proposed repairs. So this is just, I don't know, one of those sites I went to to try to see if I could get a hard money loan too. So look at that, y'all. All this requirements, private money, simple, simple. But you got to have it up here. You got to have your skills and you got to have your art. How are you going to approach these people? How are you going to approach them? Roundup. Thank you. Let's get to some Q&A. Get your questions in, y'all. Get your prospectus downloaded and uh, get your questions in so we can get your answer. Yeah, man, this is my favorite part here. Danny, what's up? Yeah, please hit that. Uh, if I have served you today, please make sure you hit that like button and share this content while you're watching it now today. If I've, if I've, uh, been, if I've served you at all, right? If I've served you. 
we got 140 people. We only got 50,000 uh, 50 uh, likes. Come on, y'all. Give me hit that like button for your boy. Uh, big life. Can you use private money in conjunction with business credit? Yes. So I put this up here, right? First mortgage, second mortgage. First mortgage, second mortgage. If you have a conventional lender, right? You, you can put them there and then you can put your private money lender here. So the second will be come after. If, I don't know if that business line of credit will have a have a position on the house, but yeah, you can use them together. Absolutely. Or if you've got business line of credit, you can use that in conjunction with the first there. Bruce Duvall, I always hear about just asking friends and family associates. Is there another way to market for private money that can be scaled using marketing? Bruce, I'm sure there is. I'm sure there is. I, I was never successful with that. Let me tell you about my life now. My life, my life now, people reach out to us to invest with us now, right? That's just because of my digital footprint. Now, however, now, however, if you don't have a large digital footprint, I still would start it with social media. But I, I don't know of a way to be able to scale it up because what I have found for me, if you reach out to people that are loaning money and they say they're private money, they're going to be more over, more over here on this side, these terms and all that stuff, right? Usually it's the relationship. Who asked that, Bruce? It's usually the relationship that you're that that takes precedent in this in this uh, in, with, with someone loaning you private money. So I don't know how to scale it, but not saying that it can't be done. That's a good question, though. Kenny D, private money for long term investments. Absolutely, I have some private money on some of my, on actually on one two of my rental properties, and that's coming out of their IRA. Remember, we said we can convert. If someone, they say, well, I do have an IRA, we can convert that to a self-directed, self-directed Roth IRA. You got to know this stuff. I want you to remember this roundup. This stuff takes time. The path of wealth takes time, right? I didn't learn this stuff overnight. I've been studying since 2006. So uh, if someone has an IRA, you can convert it to, you can convert them to a custodian that allows them to loan out their money. We use a custodian called Equity Trust Company. They were the only game in, in town when I started a million years ago. But now you got Quest and you got First Atlantic and you've got several of them. So just type in IRA, self-directed Roth IRA custodian, and you'll be able to find somebody. Good question on that, Kenny. Yes, private money. You can use what I with 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 long term. IRAs are perfect for that. Right, because you set it like my lenders for long term. I set it on bill pay every month. Boom, the check goes out. I don't have to think about it. Robert, I need a class on becoming a private or hard money lender. Becoming one, okay. Well, this is a class right here, my friend. Pastor Liz, how can I get you to help me do this right? I'm new to all this and subject to it as well. Pastor, oh, I like that. Uh, you can send us an email. We have a consultation fee, and I'm, I am opening up my inner circle back. We had closed it up, but I finally got the right pieces in place where it's going to be a small fee and then you'll get to meet my Facebook people and my advertising people and all that stuff. Okay. But send a message to Chris at chrishaskins.com, or you can just go to the website and hit contact us, Pastor Liz. Lanise Gaines. Hey, please guys, put your state where you're coming from or your city. So I know where you're at. This guy, this guy has been working on the bathroom since October partner. <laughs> okay. You already got some private lenders. Good. Good for you. Let me stay here for a minute. Lenise, that's the part of the business. Contractors. Contractors, right? Tyke. Take, take, how much do you charge to go through the entire process of a flip using private money on a real deal? Uh, we have our consultation fee is $200. I've been doing consultations. Oh, man, this morning. I, I started at 6 a.m. this morning. It's so cool. Blair. <laughs> Do you place the funds in a neutral account? Remember, all the funds come from our private lender. They go to the closing company. The closing company cuts checks to us so we can pay the contractors, okay? Also, does the investor have to have access to the neutral account? No. Once they fund the deal, or they fund the repairs, the title company holds the money in their escrow account, they cut us checks, right? We don't take money directly from them. Chris, Lenise, uh, why is it set up that you can't use equity in other people's property as cash or you can. I'm sure you can. I'm sure you can. We just don't do it. I'm sure you can do it. We just don't. Oh, man. Hey, what's up? Paris, my brother. We can get you back on the YouTube thing. Good to see you. Real Tech. I would love to connect with Chris in my area. Can anyone recommend 
someone in South Florida. Anybody in South Florida? That would be nice. Yeah. The magic, guys, I'm telling you, the gold and the magic are in the comments. You are the magic. Human capital, right? You guys uh, meet each other and network. Love the bracelet. Lexi Lou, hey, will you be putting out some gold? Yes, the lip gloss is not ready yet. Uh, yeah, she might do an add on to the lip gloss. Matter of fact, we need to do, we need to do that. We need to do that lip gloss. She has it in here, but it's I need to add it on there. We ha we have the lip gloss. I don't know if they set it up for sale yet. Yes, thank you guys. Thank you, gloss. IG is in the link description. All her stuff is uh Bubba. I think it's Bubba's boutique. Bubba's boutique. Eleanor, how you doing, my friend? Thanks, Chris. Uh, Learn so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I just turned 45. Thank you. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah, my audio went out. I don't know what the hell happened. Uh, audio, no sound. We're good now. If you knew, you used the prospectus, key, uh, Cynthia, but you don't tell them that's what you've done. You tell them that's what you will do, and that's how it's done. Okay, this is how it's done. Kathy. Due to COVID, do you think private money and lenders are doing business differently? I know they are. Uh, the last couple of deals we did, we had to have some disclaimers. All it was saying was, I understand what I'm getting into. I know I'm loaning money. Just another document that they put in there. So they, I guess the, uh, the powers that be think that us investors are taking advantage of ma and pause, right? But nothing really different. Sure, they're still wiring money everywhere. They're still wiring money, y'all. Ellis, what up? Lenise, Lenise, are the private lenders online offering the same service as someone you personally personally know? No. Private lenders. I don't even call them private. If you say you're a private lender, in my experience, you're not. Right? You're somebody that loans money professionally. A private lender is someone that didn't even know that they were a private lender until you talked to them about this business, right, Lenise? So if they say I'm a private lender, they're probably more over here Oops. on the uh, term side. Okay. Yeah, some people have to get private uh, hard money. I'm not mad at hard money. Remember, the hard money is going to give you the second eyes opinion. You're going to be able to see all that stuff. And they're going to make sure you don't screw it up. I'm not mad at it. Cynthia, hey, question about uh, already own. property I already own. I want to buy my partner out through through owner financing. Okay, I'm thinking private money proposal could work. I, I don't, yeah, well, the thing with that is if you're buying them out, they're gonna, if, they, if they're taking no owner financing, then you pay them monthly for their equity. But you might be able to piece that together, like give them 20 from a private lender and then pay them on a note 30. So yeah, I think that would be a good idea to give that a try. I would I wouldn't be mad at that. Kathy, uh, in larger projects, is it wise to partner with a private lender that is also an experienced investor? Yes, that's what we do. So people come to us, we partner because I'm going to be in there managing. See what a private and experienced investor like me, what we don't want to do is buy a job. What I don't want to do is put up all the money, give up all my resources manage all the project, make sure everything runs smooth, and then give only get a percent of the deal. I'm not going to do that, right? Why? Because I don't have to do that. So something like that, I will do all that, but I want to get a bigger piece, right? So yes, you're going to give up some, but you're learning. Uh, 100% of nothing is nothing, right? I'd rather have you know, 30, 40% of something, nothing. Ed, what's up, my friend? Yes, uh, go to just send me an email, chris uh, at chrishanskins.com, please. A request. Hey, good seeing you, brother. Matthew, uh, how is the private money taxed? I used a promissory note only. Good. And the interest and loan amount was paid back to a private lender. Uh, well, what you're going to do is you're going to do a 1098 or, yeah, what we do is we just do a 10, I'm sorry, a 1099. We give that to the investor that, that we paid out and then they claim that however it falls on their tax returns, right? Yeah, I did have a, uh, yeah, because on if, you, if they're paid back on the HUD, they may not get a, a 1090, 1099. So we have to make sure we give them one when we do our taxes, right? Because you want to make sure that that money is accounted for. Oh, man, look at this. Preston, I mean, uh, 
Paris, thank you, my brother. Thank you all, man. You guys, are solid. I love you, Paris. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your love offering. Thank you, my friend. That is so cool. Thanks, Paris. How they tax. Thank you, brother. I love you. Joe, uh, thanks for the content. I recently learned from a video with Daniel holding recording the deed. How does that work if I, someone does and records a deed after? Yeah, I learned that yesterday too. We both learned. That's why I love hanging out with Daniel. Richer and smarter, right? I love hanging out with people that are richer and smarter than me. So cool. So yeah, how does it work? Yeah, you can do that. If it records after, you can do that. But uh, today we're not talking about deeds. Oh yeah, well, yes we are. We're talking about deed of trust. So you get that. Deed. I record them, Joe. I just learned that yesterday from Daniel too, but I record them all. Um, Maybe I, I might do that in the future, but man, that's something to think about. So what Joe is talking about yesterday Daniel did a training and he'll get the deed of trust. Remember, we talked about we record the deed of trust so that your lender can foreclose. Here, let me show you again. So this is the document here. Let me take this off. This deed of trust here. This deed of trust allows your lender to foreclose on you, right? And take that house. I like the word take. They can take that house back unobstructed, unobstructed. No one can stop them unless you file bankruptcy, but you don't want to do that. So they're uh, unobstructable, right? They can take that house. They can take that house back with that deed of trust. Now, if it's recorded, that's how they do it. But sometimes Daniel was saying that he doesn't record it, right? Well, Daniel's been doing it since 1989. He's not you, Joe. He's, you know, and I'm not a Daniel. So I just record them all. Uh, I'd rather you just record it for now till you get some relationship. Who is this? Wow. Tyrone, thank you so much for your love offering. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. I'm honored to serve you. I'm going to be starting up a members only uh, portion of the channel in January as well. So we can log on and talk about crazy stuff. Kathy, since recording fees are very expensive, I know they are. Good God almighty. Could I hold the deed without recording it since the loan will be paid off in a short time? Yes, you can. That's what we just talked about, Kathy. Excellent question. That's what Daniel does. He's in New York too. My mentor, Daniel. So he has high recording fees. So you can just hold that deed in escrow. And then if something happens, they can record it and foreclose on you, right? Rena, where do you start to look for private money if your family isn't an option? Friends, go to friends. Hey, you know anybody interested in getting a 6 to 8% return on some money based on some of, my, some of my real estate deals? But Rena, I want to know that you have talked to the majority of your family first. Comment in the chat have you talked to your family if you have what did they say what did they say because here's the thing what i've noticed reno you only need four or five of these guys that's all to add up to two three four five hundred thousand you only need a few people to take your career out of here like anywhere we go i know i'm going to be able to buy whatever house that comes across my desk Based on private money. What's wrong with my camera? The thing messing up. There we go. Rena, let me know what did they say when you asked them? I hope they're not all broke. Flash by. Would you look for a private lender after finding a deal, or would you get your private lenders first and then notify them about withdrawing their funds? We look for money first. Money first. And don't forget, I'm like uh one of my skills, the superpowers is raising private money. So I have another business partner that can bring houses in too. So I'm good at bringing money. He gets the deals. Boom, 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 boom. We keep working. Keep rolling. Okay, you got a deal under contract. Good for you. How do you use multiple investors in one product project? Excellent question. I should have covered this. So over here, we got mortgages. First mortgage, second mortgage, right? Lender one, lender two. You can do it like that. If you don't want to do it like that, <clears throat> there's another way you can do it. Very similar, it's called doing a fractionalized deed of trust or promissory note. A fractionalized, can you say that? Fractionalized, Rena, where are you by the way? We can do something called a fractionalized deed of trust. That's where, shoot, let me do this. Y'all got me teaching now, good Lord. I didn't know this was gonna come up fractionalized deed of trust, right? So you got to, let's just say for instance, that's your, that's your deed of trust. You got three lenders, right? 
Well, make it easy on me. Yeah, say you get four lenders. You can do this. One, two, three, four. And all of this Okay, so with the fractionalized deed of trust, you got one deed of trust in first position, but the deed itself says Mary Jo has 25% of this first position deed of trust. Joe Brown has 25% of this first deed of trust, right? Johnny Cash has 25% of this first deed of trust, and Sally Sue has 25% of this first deed of trust, right? So this deed, this is in first position, a fractionalized with all of your lenders, right? That's going to be an advanced strategy, but yes, you can do that. All right. So you can either do first lender, <coughs> second lender, or you can do them in fractionalized positions in that in that one lane with that one one lane. Yeah, it's up to you how you do it. Oh man, I'm lost. Round up. Get your questions in. Make sure you download your prospectus. Use the coupon code MONEY. That will end tonight. Get my deed of trust if you want that too. And sign up to our email list if you want to be considered for the free prop stream giveaway. Hey, look at that. Art, how you doing, Art? Baltimore, I got to get up with you. How can I use this if I was to purchase rental property? Same thing, Art. Same thing. You got private money. You just have to do it long term, and the interest rate will be probably six percent, right? Uh, what we do is with our private lenders on long term, we just set them up for bill pay. Boom, every month it gets the payment. So it's no different. Nothing's different other than the term. The term, as opposed to a year, you can do three to five years or whatever you negotiate with your lenders. Okay. I'm dad. Hey, I want to purchase a four bedroom brick home for 20 that's valued at 57. Minor work needed, and I already have a tenant that's section eight. Can't find a bank to do the loan to do the loan. Well, looks like you're in the right place. I'm dad HBU. You need to get out there and raise you some private money to get that deal done. This is why I'm doing this class for people like you. It's gonna be very hard. See, the thing is, let me tell you what happened to me. When I started paying down my houses, right? I was trying to refinance it. I had Paid it down to 50, 40, 30. Tried to find lenders that would loan me money for that amount. Lenders don't like loaning out small amounts of money. Why? Because they can't make any money. They want to keep you in debt while we want to get out of debt, right? Isn't it crazy? It's really weird how the system works. They want you in debt. You, you want to get out of debt. So I'm dad HU, HBU. Perfect. You're a prime candidate for raising some private money for that. You're not going to be able to find a lender that I don't want to say you're not. But generally speaking, most lenders aren't going to do that. Cynthia, uh, may I <coughs> may I, uh, may have someone for you? Send me. Oh, you're talking to somebody else. <coughs> uh, is this regulated by the SEC? That I don't. I have never had a problem with it. But as long as we're doing people that we have a personal relationship, it's my understanding. But I'm not an attorney, so you talk to your attorney about that, big brother. Do we offer one-on-one -on -one mentoring? I am opening it up for January, my inner circle. You get our newsletter. Uh, you pay a fee, an in entry fee and a monthly fee, and you'll get access to all of my, my subs, my vendors that help us bring in deals. And But you will have to get your own money. You Like Lenny's, your private lenders have personal relationship. Wow, Portland. I didn't know you was up there, Lexi Lou. Portland. Your private lenders are personal relationships that you have developed. Brian, if I own a house and I want to buy another house, do I have to refinance my old house? Uh, I don't know. I, I, you would have to talk. I don't know about that. No, I wouldn't think you have to. Poor me a, a rich me. Greensboro. I found a house for 230. How much would a pri how much would I need from a private? It's worth 350 needs 30. I found a house for 230 free and clear. Worth 335, needs 30 in repairs. If you're buying it for 230 and it's worth 335, you got about 100 in it. So, yeah, how much would I need from a private? Looks like you need 230 plus 30, 260, about you're going to need about 270. 
Gonna need about 270 on that. Thank you. Thank you for the birthday wishes, y'all. Yeah, uh, who is that? Poor me and uh, rich me. You're gonna need about 270 on that. So yes, you can do that. They don't have the money. Yeah, I wanted. I wanted. Oh, they say they don't have the money. Well, if they, if Rena, if your people don't have the money, always ask them. I understand. You know, I completely understand. Could you give me a few people names that you think that might be interested in this? I have a little checklist that I would give them. And when you do your perspective sitting down with people, make sure you have some referrals in there. I'm not going to read you some of mine, but I've got some referrals of other people we've borrowed money from, and they just say how good Chris treated us and how he pays on time and all that stuff. Or they don't trust you. Yeah, that's a rough one. You don't know why. Good gracious. Paris found a private money connection by accident at an auction. There you go. They were looking to, to offer a nice return to those who were interested. I'm telling you, man, they're out there. You got to do this. Flap your lips. You got to flap your lips. Lakeisha, private money lenders. Where do I miss them? Where do I find them? Start with friends and family. Uh, you're going to have to rewind it to just rewind it to find out how we talk, how we ask. But we do not ask them, hey, you want to loan me money? Blah, blah, blah. That's not the script. You can rewind it for the script. Do you know anybody that's interested? Do you know anybody that's interested? Okay. Thank you. The real HU. Oh, wow. Hampton University. T. Cheeks. How you doing? You and B. Moore. Nice. Would this be useful for those multi units? Absolutely. Private money is the way to go. It will. It, private money is the air under my wings, y'all. When I go to any house or I go to the foreclosure auction, if I want to bid, I know that I have people that are behind me. I'm standing on the shoulders of giants. I can go to these people and say, "Listen, I've got boom, boom, boom. Would you be willing to come? Boom. Yeah, let's do it. It's over." And a lot of them just do an email. I haven't even talked to them on the phone in a long time. Jay Donuts, great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Tyrone, I mean, Cali, the numbers are much higher. Should I begin in Cali? You know, Tyrone, you might want to think about that. I don't have experience in investing outside of my market. I'm going to be honest with you because I don't want to lead you in the wrong direction. I invest right here under my nose where I can get in the car and be there in like 30 minutes. So, yeah, you might want to consider that. You might want to consider investing outside of Cali. Can you make money... Poor me and Rich, can you make money from finding the deal? Yep, that's a wholesaler. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for your birthday wishes. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. I have a credit score of 700 trying to get a small house rented out. Just don't know the steps to take. Oh, wow. Healing through inspiration. Man, that's a long one. Mike this, Mike that. That's a long one. I, I can't get into that one. I don't know. So many things we could do with that. Sam, thank you for subscribing. Thank you. It's an honor to serve you. Round up. Get your butt in gear for 2021. You have to tell I remember telling myself, I am a money magnet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. T. Harv Ecker, uh, he said, listen, I am a money magnet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am a money magnet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're grateful for every opportunity that comes your way, right? I have to remind myself too, Chris, you know, you could be sitting on the side of the road. I remember when I graduated college, broke i got fired for the seventh time i'm looking down like my i'm like damn no one cares about me i remember that right so i look back i'm like you know chris you got all this increase now you better stay humble you better stay thankful stay thankful for the opportunity so sometimes i get grumpy right but i look at the opportunities that i have with me and i'm grateful so the more grateful you are for the little stuff you have People will start noticing, giving you more stuff, okay? I was saying that to say, um, who was that chimed in? Having a hard time in California. Uh, First, be thankful that you're in Cali and then see how you can expand. Uh, I know there are some suburbs, might be an hour away from LA. I have some clients out there too that are investing. So you're still talking about 200,000. But it's now we're close to the five, six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollars. I don't want you starting there. Oh Lord, don't start there. I'm a money magnet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. T. Harbecker. Sometimes I lose my graciousness, right? Because I'm going through so much mess with running houses, internet business, family, dog, husband, all that stuff. I lose my graciousness. So I have to rewind, like, listen, Chris, you better be grateful for what you have. So round up, make sure you stay humble, empathetic, compassionate. You have empathy, all that stuff, okay? 
Uh, poor man, Rich. Yes, Rena, thank you so much. Thank you. Man, Elizabeth, I've been grateful. That's right. Man, a little grumpy. Do they send the funds to the attorney? Yes, you can rewind the CD, the video and see that. I show you exactly the system. If you download pers the prospectus, it's 25% off today only. That discount will end today. It's not a lot. Uh, you can get my deed of trust and my promissory note. That walks you through how the money is wired. The loan, the investor wires the money to the title company. Okay. We don't take the money. Listen, Roundup. A few more things. YouTube and Internet Marketing Masterclass next Thursday. Let me share with you. Let me just share with you what YouTube is doing right now because I, I love you guys. Let me show just the magic of YouTube, right, with the views. This is why I teach this stuff. YouTube and Internet Marketing Masterclass. If you guys are looking for another income stream for 2020, let me share with you. If anybody is interested in this stuff because it, it, I'm so just – blown away with this internet. I love the internet, right? I just love how you can uh, share stuff. We got 70,000 subscribers. So if you go to the analytics roundup, you can see just right now we are at $5,000 for this month. We got 5,000 new subscribers. So what I want to do, I want to show you how to do this stuff too, right? I want to show you how to do this stuff. 10,000 views. Here's the views. You can see they went up 400 subscribers. And this is this is every day. You make two hundred dollars a day, y'all. If you're looking, for, I mean, just just this yesterday we made no. Yesterday we made one hundred thirty dollars. That's just on YouTube, right? So I want to share with you. I want to share with you how to do this stuff because I too, when I told myself I want to be a money magnet, it's not just real estate. You got real estate, flipping houses, lease out long term holes, the the private money side, turning into a lender, internet different affiliate products. I want to teach you this stuff too. I mean, I, the people that I'm making money with online, I want to introduce you to these people because I firmly believe 2021 and beyond is all inside of here. It's all inside this phone. And if you ain't in this phone, you in trouble. You in trouble. You done. You done. So let me look, make sure I'm not missing any. Make sure y'all please hit the like button. Hit that like button. Make sure I'm not missing any questions here. For some reason, my uh, chat won't, my, my software won't import the questions from Facebook. Or maybe it did. Final questions and we'll get you guys out of here. Final questions. No. Oh, yeah, it did import them. Okay. I don't see any other questions. Uh, I'm a magnet, money magnet. That's right. Money and me and best friends. I like that. Uh, Empre Emprendedora. Emprendedora. Can you take the contract and the scope of work to the private lender and make it easier for them to lend to you? No. No, Emprendedora. Rewind this, the session today, this masterclass. The private lenders, they don't give a hill of beans about tax returns, scope of work, how much the roof is, central heating and air. They don't care. They care about you. The relationship you have with them in Prendedore, right? Over here is relationship wise. Over here is business wise. These guys, the traditional and hard money guys, they're going to want to know your scope. How much is the roof going to be? Uh, did your contractor easy class A? Uh, did you get an appraisal? Did you get an inspection? Uh, how about the termite inspection? All that stuff. So, no. Wait, let me go back up here. Your private lender is loaning you money based on the relationship. Okay. So, all that scope and how much the house is worth and we're going to make a lot of money. All They're just like, are you going to do what you say you're going to do? That's all they care about. Yeah. Nefarious, does the course come with deeds of trust? Yes, uh, it is a small extra fee. I think it's like 40 bucks or something. But so when you check out in below for the prospectus, there's a little blinking thing. You have to click that to get the deed of trust and the uh, a promissory note. Okay. Uh, Corey, do you, keep them in my, do you keep them in the deal after you refinance? No. Uh, healing, Chris, Chris, Matt, you say your name like you don't. Oh, you, I remember you, my friend. I remember you. I know man, you sent me all that stuff. Uh, Matthew, do, do you use the deed of trust out of courtesy to the private lender? No, we use that on every one of them. They are, they are the bank. They are the mortgage company. They get insurance. In this case, the house burns down. That deed of trust is right there. It's not a courtesy. That's it. As long as they're okay with the promissory notice, that's sufficient. No, I don't want you, Matthew. I don't want you out there just using promissory notes 
Because what if you get hit by a bus, struck by lightning, then they can't take the house back unless you have a good relationship. Like I do have some uh, investors. They don't care about none of that stuff. They're like, here's 50, whatever. So if you're at that level and you're uh, you're an expert, you've already done a bunch of houses. Yes, I don't mind not doing a deed of trust, but starting out doing relationships with people because I don't trust me. Right. I don't trust me. If something happens to me, I want them to have their security so they can foreclose and get their money back. All right. Uh, T early, Jerry, what time next Thursday would you be teaching YouTube? Oh, uh, make sure you, you gotta be on my uh, list. So you get an email. It'll be same time, probably like a four. Well, let me ask you guys for the YouTube and internet marketing masterclass. What time would you like for me to do it? Is it later in the daytime, seven o'clock, four o'clock? I'll do whatever time you guys want. I think that the internet is so important to your future economic development. I am willing to do it whatever time you want. I'm telling you, I've been teaching this stuff since six o'clock this morning. I've been doing consultations, teaching internet marketing. Okay. Why? Because you can make a hundred. I mean, I just saw you, you can make $50,000 just uh, doing uh, on one income stream on the internet. Okay. Queen, I missed the session. Do you have some private lenders you recommend? No, you do not recommend private lenders. Private lenders are relationships with people that you have cultivated and that you have personally put together. How? How do we do that? With the prospectus. You got to sit down with Miss Smith. Here's the thing. Here's some of the before and after pictures that we've done. Here's who we do business with. Here's the amount of equity that we only borrow up against. And here's some of the before and after pictures. Look at this, Miss Smith. This lady here gave us $50,000. So you got to have your perspective. You got to have it. If somebody comes to me with an opportunity, I don't even want to talk to them. I'm like, Send me over the prospectus and we could talk about it. But I'm like, if all you're going to do is talk, I don't even, I'm good. I don't even have anything to really say. I want to see it in writing. You got, you got it, you got it, you got it. Impredore. Watch what, oh yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, because we're builders. Oh, okay, you do the remodel. Good for you. So if you're a builder, Private money is perfect for you because you're the one doing the work. You don't even have to sub it out to anybody. So you can uh, do the cost that too. Later. Okay, Paris, let me see if I can move that later. So Paris, you're in the mastermind. I'll, I'll be offering that. This is just a master class. Time of perfect. I've been able to catch the lives twice. Good for you. Four o'clock's good. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, just go back and rewind it. Chris, mentor. Yeah, if you, uh, we, 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 will, we will be doing mentoring in January. Roundup, I love you. I love you guys. Make sure you have subscribed to the channel, right? Get my workout on. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit the like. Oh, I only have 60 likes. Share with any other investors that need to learn how to buy houses without having to suck up and pray and beg into the banks, right? For me, I'm like, God, if you, let me tell you what I did. And I'm going to let you go. How I was able to attract, because we don't, in my opinion, you don't necessarily look for this stuff. You attract it, right? You attract people that want to give you money. I don't know how it works. There's a book I'm reading now. I'm not going to recommend it yet. How do you attract this stuff? I told myself, Roundup, if I were to find people to invest their hard-earned money with me, I would treat it with the utmost of respect. I would treat their money better than I was going to treat my money. I would make sure that they got paid on time, every time, exactly what I said I would do. I would make sure that they are secured. I would make sure that, that, I, that I'm bringing some money to the deal to make sure that I'm buying below market value. I would make sure that these projects get done as close to on time as possible, right? When I'm borrowing somebody's money, this is what I said to myself years ago. If I were to find these people in the universe that would loan me money or invest in my real estate deals that I didn't have to go to the bank. Oh man, I would treat them like kings and queens, right? I would treat them so good, sending them gift certificates, birthday stuff, uh, cards if I can, uh, holiday stuff. I need to get my holiday stuff out, cards in the mail. So little things like that, y'all, was what makes you rise to the top when it comes to people investing with you, right? And that's why you come to the channel because you know, one, I love you. And two, I have your best interest in heart. I'm here working for you because I want you to learn this stuff. I want you to learn it so you can get out there and make your own money. Okay. 
Uh, shoot, did uh, only allows me once. Mark, uh, if you have high DTI because of other mortgages and student loans, do private lenders look bad on that? Mark, private lenders don't have any idea. They don't have any clue about your debt that you have. So don't even bring it up. Don't even bring it up. Healing, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, it's Dan Kennedy. I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you guys next session. Austin, Texas. Okay, listen, Roundup, I love you. Been on almost two hours. Go out there, download your prospectus, join the email list, get a bracelet from Bubba for Christmas if you can support my kid, Entrepreneur. And what's the other one down in there? Prospectus. Giveaway for Prop Stream. We're going to be giving it away December 23rd. Subscribe to the channel. I love you. Chris Haskins. Peace.